I'm here with Joshua, and this closet is the official home of Josh Pork Sandwich Zoes. Um, he's very followed on Reef to Reef uh, and online. You've probably seen his photos and drooled at them. Um, his zoanthids are, really are something else. Joshua, thank you for letting us come in and, and check out inside an exclusive look into Josh Pork Sandwich Zoes. Um, why don't you start off just by telling us kind of the equipment you're running, the lights, and then the filtration. Okay, so <clears throat> my system is basic. I have just uh, some basic lights, LEDs, just I picked up eBay. They were cheap, no, nothing too expensive, nothing fancy. And for the last maybe five, six months, I've been using one 250 watt metal halide. Uh, when I started my system, it was three metal halides and some reef brights, and my saws looked amazing. So with LEDs, I've never got the growth, the fatness of the saws. So uh, I put a metal halide to test it, and the saws are looking better. They're looking bigger. So I'm, I'm happy with you know how they're looking. Uh, for flow, I'm just using here on the bottom. I'm using just uh, some regular power heads. Uh, I just put it under the rack. And then here, filtration. Again, everything's basic. Uh, for me, Zoas is just if you keep your parameters steady, uh, that's what makes the Zoas grow, be happy. So when you start changing too much, uh, it's it's just stuff doesn't do good. Just keep everything steady. Um, uh, just you know, I have a filter sock over here. Um, from the filter sock, you know, I don't have any baffles or anything. It's just a 55 gallon sump. Um, I have a Fosman reactor. I change the Fosman my rear three every three months. Uh, skimmer. I just got the skimmer uh, maybe a month ago. It's okay. I don't like the cup. It's too small, but you know, it, it's fine. And I just have channel. I have some live rock in here. Uh, nothing fancy. I just put a crate there just so the channel doesn't go into the into the return pump uh, mag 18 return pump have a uh, auto top off by uh, uh, pure tech um, I just a regular doser I have a Jabao doser uh, and I'm dosing the calcium and alkalinity by Emmy coral I dose magnesium only when it needed maybe once a month I dose magnesium. Um, I have here my my for water change. I just just drain it, you know, if I need to, and then just open the valve here and just add more water. Like I said, nothing fancy. I don't have no uh, expensive setup. Everything is cheap. It's just I try to keep everything stable. Uh, that's the key. Okay, I try to do maybe a 10% water change every two or three weeks just dosing you know I dose 50 mils of calcium a day uh, it's I'm also dosing 30 mils of alkalinity a day uh, just to keep everything stable magnesium like I said once a month I try to keep my magnesium at 1400 uh, when I dose it goes up to 1500 and then it just takes a month to go back down to 1300 and then I just dose uh, <laughs> like two cups or three cups of magnesium and that brings it up. I already know that a cup raises it up 100 points in this system. Uh, total water volume on this system is around 70 gallons. It's nothing huge. Um, I'm hoping I could upgrade, you know, something a little bigger. Uh, what's weird about my system is, if you guys can see it here, I have a two-story system. And on the top, it's uh, my son keeps his Akins. And I have Montes and some SPSs. And on the top system, I have a six bulb uh, T5 fixture with some uh, reef brights. I have the cheap reef brights in the back, the XHO in the front. And that's mostly for Montes. You know, I have my Gonis up there. Uh, Akans are coloring up beautiful. Some rock flower anemones. And the they like the T5s. I put a few Zoas just to test, uh, but I think my Zoas are doing better with the LEDs and the, and the metal halides. Uh, the few Zoas that I have up there have some Rastas, I have some stuff, and and they're doing good. They're coloring up nicer than the system with the LEDs down here. They're a little brighter, 
but I don't think it's you know they're not as they're not growing as big as they're doing on the bottom. Everything's connected. It's the same. It's just different lights. Uh, if something's not doing good here on the bottom, I put it on the top, and usually does good. Just if it's not doing good on the top, some mantis. Uh, when I change the light, sometimes I bleach. I just put them on the bottom under LEDs, and, and you know just until everything gets acclimated. And that's pretty much it. It's, like I said, it's nothing fancy. You know, you don't need the fanciest of equipment. You don't need you know the more expensive stuff. You know, just keep everything stable. You know, if you can afford you know chemicals, just do water changes. Uh, that's how I had my my 125. It was mostly water changes. I wasn't dosing that much. It was just water changes. Josh, you have arguably some of the best zoanthids in the business, if not the best. Um, your reef to reef thread um, is one of the most viewed on reef to reef. If someone wants to buy some Josh pork sandwich zoes, how can they do that? Will you ship or are you local only? Um, where can people pick up some of these awesome zoos? I do that shit and I'm local, I'm not local only either. I only sell in shows and frag swaps, but so far I'm sticking to Florida. Um, I have a few friends that are doing swaps, you know, out of, out of state, you know, probably to help them out go to their swaps. Awesome. So if next, if you're interested in getting some Josh pork sandwich zoos, make sure to look for his booth at your next frag swap. Hopefully he will be there. Uh, if not, Stay tuned to his Reef to Reef thread. I'll post a link in the description so you can check out all of his awesome stuff, all of his content, um, and still enjoy it that way. Thanks so much for talking to me, Joshua. Really appreciate it. See you next time, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my featured video on the Josh Pork Sandwich Zoe's frag tank. If you're interested in learning all of the zoanthid names that Josh Pork Sandwich Zoe's has, a close-up zoanthid identification video will walk you through all the different names. That video is on the right. Links to these videos will also be provided in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.